how far is too far? Because I look at it this way. Right dab in the middle, we have this side, which is subjective. It's comedy. It's jokes. I believe I'm of the opinion that you can joke about pretty much anything, topic-wise. doesn't matter how dark the joke is. You know, it's been shown that comedy making people laugh during uh, tragedy and dark times is a coping mechanism. It helps a lot of people laugh. Some people may view it differently, but that's fine. I honestly believe that you can joke about any type of topic. Um, I'm of that mindset. That's what I believe. Now, on the other side of here, we have this side. And this is when you make jokes or you think that you're joking and that joke actually affects people's lives. And what I mean by this is instances of, you know, for swatting. Uh, swatting's a big trend on Twitch. P popular people playing video games. Someone calls the police or in a... In gets the local SWAT team, says the person is shooting people up in this house or is holding someone hostage, uh, and the SWAT comes over to their house, busts down their door, aims guns at them, and basically tells them to get on the ground, and they're just streaming a video game. Um, that type of uh, joke is not a joke to me. That's something that's serious, and that affects people personally and individually, and that can actually potentially have a risk of them being shot by the police. Uh, because, you know, police have to do that. That's by law. If someone calls in, someone's shooting somebody up or someone's holding someone hostage, they have to legally go investigate that. Uh, that's not a joke. I don't care what type of mindset you have. That's something that affects people individually and can cause harm to them. In the same way, making false bomb threats as a joke for the lolzy, that's too far. Uh, I think you can go too far with this mindset of, oh, it's a joke, it's a joke. When that joke interferes with people's personal lives, it's no longer a joke. You know, roughly seven months ago, I had the FBI knock at my door because someone thought it would be a great idea to send a bomb threat to Anita Sarkeesian and sign in it with my legal name and my online alias. Uh, that's not a joke. And likewise, making personalized verbal death threats to someone is not a joke. You can classify yourself as a online troll as much as you want, but I honestly think that there's a difference between a keyboard warrior saying, I hope I, I hope you die or kill yourself or something like that, versus someone actually saying publicly, vocally, in a video that they want to cause you bodily harm and they want to kill you. And you're probably asking yourself, why are you mentioning this? Well, because someone, some great individual recorded this that happened just the other day. Repsion's a little fucking bitch. <laughs> Come on, bro. I fucking hate that shit. <laughs> like, I usually don't have a huge issue with people I make videos about, but, uh, yeah. If I had the opportunity, I'd kill him. Slit his fucking throat with this knife. Really like to use this knife on him. Like, he really does deserve to die. Like, he calls me a sociopath, I mean... He's just a piece of shit. I don't know if he's a sociopath or not, but... He's just a turd. Should just be killed. Ugh. Like, he's such a smug little bitch, I'd like, love to just slide a knife right across his throat and just watch him, like, just look all scared when, you know, he's just dying. Now, the reason I'm talking about this is because I want actually a public record so people can actually see what he said here. And so that I have many witnesses' accounts on this type of behavior and the threat that was made. Threatening to take someone's life is not a joke. If you really think it's a joke, I encourage you to write the President of the United States, send him a tweet saying that you want to harm him in any way, and you will have local authorities visiting your house. I am just shocked that this individual actually thinks that saying this type of stuff is perfectly acceptable. You have the freedom to say whatever you want to say, that's your freedom of speech. But don't be surprised when the repercussions of what you say actually gets you in big trouble. You can make videos mocking someone with cancer who was just diagnosed a second time with cancer. You can mock them, you can make fun of them, but when you threaten someone's life that you want to actually cause bodily harm to them and kill them and their throat, that's no longer a joke and it should be taken seriously. Especially when it's done verbally 
and visually. But when I see someone vocally and visually display that they want to harm me, it does make me concerned not only for that individual, but for other people who this person doesn't like. So this really doesn't have anything to do with me personally and his threats towards me. It has to do with people who may even live in his local area who he thinks eats meat or he doesn't like and maybe even take action of harming them because they're so deeply rooted in their ideology. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to make this quick short video to just display this so people have record of this. Who knows, maybe he'll try to get this video removed because he said something really stupid on the internet and it could actually get him in a lot of legal trouble. He apparently lives in Canada, so he doesn't actually live in the USA, so that really doesn't... I can't really report someone for death threats in another country, but at least I have this online for record for people to see.